Well, let's ask who is the more frugal between us. Uh, Charlie, who do you think is more? <laughs> well, in personal consumption, Warren is more frugal. If Warren Buffett was asked this question against many other wealthy people and non-wealthy people alike, chances are that he'd come out on top as the more frugal person. Some of you may be wondering why the fifth richest person in the world would be frugal. The truth is, that's how he's really managed to build his wealth. So, for those of you who are trying to break out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle and finally start seeing your money grow, I'm going to share 34 frugal living tips that really work. These are straight from Warren Buffett's life, so you can save money and become wealthy just like him. Number 1. Buy high quality items. A famous quote by Buffett goes as follows, Price is what you pay, value is what you get. When you really sit down and look at it, when you purchase something, you're always focused on what you get from the item. It's very seldom that anyone spends just to spend. You spend so that you can have a useful item. So, just like Buffett, who's always selective with his investments to make sure that they have value, it's good for you to be selective with what you buy so you get the most out of it. For example, if you want to buy a new pair of shoes, don't buy the cheapest one because it's the cheapest. Buy the one that'll last the longest and make you the happiest, making the price you pay worth it. Number 2. Focus on the long term. Life does feel like it goes by in the blink of an eye, but constantly thinking about tomorrow will never allow your dreams to grow. Someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago is a quote from Buffett that explains this well. Good things take time to grow. If you want to finally become rich like Warren, then starting the seeds of frugal living can never be done too soon. Keep watching this video to find many great ways to start and nurture this seed. Number 3. Shop at thrift stores. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule, and that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth, and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. Thrift stores are basically a treasure trove of items that are below their value, and following what Warren Buffett said in the clip, you basically don't lose money this way. I'm very fond of thrift stores and used items simply because they offer the same quality as a new item, but for a huge cut in cost. You really can't go wrong. Number 4. Have a budget. A budget will really save you from spending more money than you need. In fact, there's no better person than Buffett to tell you this. He's an expert in business and looks at financial data all day long. But when you break it down, the financial data is none other than how well a business is sticking to its budget and plan. For example, when you spend less than you earn and constantly pay yourself through savings, then you're bound to grow, just as a business would. So, always aim to budget your finances as it's a great step to living frugally. Number 5. Save for a rainy day. There's always going to be at least one rainy day in everyone's lives. Essentially, when something unexpected happens and your finances take a hit. If you don't believe me, then look back two years at the impact of COVID. By having insurance of three to six months, you can feel protected against any potential windfalls and always come out growing from them. Number 6. A meal plan. When I'm not feeling quite so prosperous, I might go with the 261, which is two sausage patties, and then I put them together and uh, pour myself a Coke. It's amazing how cheap his breakfast is already, but it's the fact that he's willing to spend less just because the market is down. This is an interesting form of meal planning, and it's proven to be effective. When you plan out how much your meals are going to cost you every day, then you can easily set up the right amount of money to budget for it. It's worked for Warren, it's worked for me, and it'll absolutely work for you. Number 7. Buy Generic For almost every single item out there, there's a brand name and a generic version. While many people will buy the brand, you should be buying generic. Not only is it much cheaper, but it's usually the same quality as branded products. An example of this is Warren Buffett's suits. They're made by a small-time tailor, but they've served him for decades. You don't always need a brand to be happy. Number 8. Find free activities. There are loads of free activities, and with the internet now, you can easily find groups of people who are looking to meet new people in free and cheap ways. In fact, Warren Buffett decided it would be best for his second marriage to be held at his daughter's house instead of a fancy place, which he could easily afford. You don't remember activities for the activity itself, 
but the people you do it with. You'll also be happy with how much you save this way. Number 9. Use your local library. Buffett once said that his success and the success of others can be almost guaranteed as long as you read. And what better place to read than the library, where every single book is free, but instead of owning it, you rent it. It's one of the best and most underutilized resources, but it can save you a ton of money while giving you knowledge that other people aren't taking advantage of. Number 10. Avoid subscriptions when possible. It's normal to have a subscription here and there, but do you have more than you need? Making sure you actually use your subscription at least once or twice a week can ensure that you aren't wasting money. If you haven't touched a subscription for at least two months, then it's best to get rid of it and save money. Number 11. Get a frugal cell phone plan. There are more and more companies that have amazing deals on cell phone plans. One of these companies is Mint Mobile, which has plans starting at as little as $15 per month. You can't beat that. However, if you want to go a step further, you can be like Warren Buffett and have a very simple phone. All right, are you an Apple or a Samsung man? <laughs> I'll show you my, uh, this is my cell phone. How do you tweet on that thing? Alexander, it's falling apart as a matter of fact. <laughs> no, no, Alexander Graham Bell gave me this. With your actually. room? Number 12, eat out at the right times. There are busy times in a restaurant and there are less busy times. While eating out at a busy time means full priced food, Eating out at less busy times can give you major discounts. I used to work at a restaurant and bakery when I was younger, and an hour before closing, they gave two-for-one deals on all the bread they sold. By simply shifting your time, you can get huge deals and enjoy a fantastic meal for very little. Number 13. Use a cashback app. Even though Warren doesn't use cell phones much, he's a big saver. So it's no surprise that he'd certainly say to take advantage of the money that's given to you simply to buy things you already buy. The reason is that you're getting more value out of your purchase. There are tons of cashback apps that you can use, one of which is very popular is Ibotta. Number 14. Use Amazon Trade-In Amazon Trade-In is unheard of, but it's an amazing resource that you can trade in old items like electronics or textbooks and get money back for it. Number 15. Rent out a space or spare room some of you likely have space in your home to rent, and if you're looking to make some extra cash, then consider making the most out of your home for that. It's easier now than ever with apps like Airbnb. Number 16. Start a hobby. There are two benefits of a hobby. One is that if your hobby is inexpensive, then you can save money by spending time enjoying it. And the second is that you can turn it into an income stream. One way to look at hobbies, at least the way Buffett does, is investing in yourself. You've got all kinds of potential, all the people in this room, you know, you're lucky to be in this country, gotten a good education, but most people go through life using up a very, very small part of their potential. And so anything you do that invests in yourself, uh, is, that's the best investment you can possibly make. And then I would, I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turns you on. You can never go wrong by investing in yourself. So start today. Number 17. Use survey sites. If you want to get a little extra cash for very little effort, then use a site like Swagbucks. Here you take surveys and get paid in Swagbucks, which can be exchanged for gift cards or even PayPal money. I've used this before and it's helped pay off a few hefty gas bills. Number 18. Shop at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is exactly what you'd expect. Things are extremely cheap, but they actually have some great quality items. For example, it's a great place to buy dishware, glassware, and cutlery for a cheap price, and it lasts for a long time. Number 19. Make your own cleaning products. You don't need endless supplies to clean your home. In fact, you can make just one cleaning product for your whole house. However, it usually needs vinegar and not everyone can handle that smell. If you're one of those people, then you can do what I do in my home, which is use an antibacterial soap like Dawn for most of your cleaning. Number 20. Track your expenses. There's no one better at tracking finances than Buffett. While he primarily does it for businesses, it's not that different for people. Simply put, you shouldn't be spending more than you earn, and you shouldn't be spending on anything unnecessary. Buffett takes this to heart and lives his life like that. And look where it's gotten him. It certainly can get you there too. Number 21. Avoid credit cards. And I said, well, 
put you on your credit card. And uh, uh, she says, well, I own X. And uh, uh, I said, well, what you should do, I, I, I don't know what interest rate she was paying, but I think, you know, may, I think I asked her and she knew and she, it was something like 18% or something. I said, I don't know how to make 18%. You know, I mean, uh, if, I, if I owed any money at 18%, the first thing I do with any, any money I had would be to pay it off. It's gonna be way better than any investment idea I've got. And that wasn't what she wanted to hear. He's absolutely right about that. The best investment you can make is by paying off debts because you'll instantly have huge returns. In the case of a credit card, upwards of 18%. The best part is that it's guaranteed, which is unheard of in the investing world. So if you have debts, pay them off ASAP with the avalanche method or the snowball method. Number 22, use coupons. A popular anecdote about Buffett is the time that he bought Bill Gates and his wife McDonald's and paid with it through coupons. Sure, this may seem cheap, but really, he was making the most out of what he had. Why should he have to pay full price if he doesn't have to? Always ask this question yourself too and you'll see how much easier it is to save. Number 23. Make dinner at home. Learning to cook is a valuable skill that'll help you save. My partner and I, we eat out very seldom and we've managed to live in our home with a smaller income than the majority of our neighborhood. Plus, we eat amazing food too. Number 24, stick to a list. Sticking to a list when shopping can drastically change your finances. Warren Buffett stresses the importance of having a plan in your life and making a list is no different. When you stick to your list, you get the exact items you want at the price you want. When things are expected, things are easy to deal with and you can continue living frugally this way. Number 25. Sell things you don't need. If you don't need them, why do you still have them? Instead of just throwing it away, however, see if you can sell it to get the most value out of it. For example, if you have an old camera that still works, sell it on the Facebook Marketplace. Chances are there's someone out there who will want it. Number 26. Invest when you can. Buffett is a huge fan of low-cost index funds as investments since they're cheap and you don't have to do any research, but you can always expect growth. On average, the S&P 500 grows at an annual rate of 10% per year. It's a safe and easy investment for anyone. Number 27. Wear clothes more than once before washing. Clothes don't get dirty that fast. I'm someone who likes to wear my pants several times before I consider washing them simply because they don't get dirty that quickly. The best test for dirtiness are your eyes and nose. If it looks dirty, then clean it. If it smells dirty, it's also time to clean it. But if you've worn a shirt once and it doesn't smell or look dirty, you can wear it again. Number 28. Get an extra job or a side hustle. Warren once said that you'll work for the rest of your life if you can't make money while you sleep. In other words, you need multiple streams of income. One known way of this is a side hustle, which requires little effort but continuously makes money, like a YouTube channel. Number 29. Use Rakuten. Rakuten is one of the go-to apps for online shopping. At this point, all of you probably shop online once in a while, so having Rakuten installed to give you cash back and discounts just makes it all the better. Number 30. Drive an old but reliable car. A new car may be nice, but it's not a frugal option. Even Warren Buffett will tell you that with the used car he drives. As long as it gets him from point A to B, he's happy. Not only that, but he's much more wealthy because of it, and you can be too. Number 31. Automate your savings. Savings are the key to riches. Don't save what's left after saving, but spend what's left after saving. This is one of the most popular Buffett quotes, and for good reason. Most people have the saving ideology backwards, but now you know the proper way. Saving comes first, and automating your savings can help you grow wealth incredibly quickly. Number 32. Downsize your home. Warren lives in the same house he bought for a very modest price, what, in 1950-something? I bought it in 1958, and you moved into yours about 1960, didn't you? Yeah, and I paid more. <laughs> imagine living in the same home for 50 plus years. Hard to imagine, right? The truth is, most of you don't need a mansion to have a great home. For example, my home is relatively small, but it gives me and my family everything we need. 
If you have more home than you need, then take the frugal step and downsize to something both more affordable and more suitable to your lifestyle. Number 33. Exercise at home. You don't need to do much to get the workouts you need to stay healthy. In fact, just walking for 30 minutes a day is already enough for most people to stay in great shape. Plus, walking is free, which is excellently frugal. Memberships are nice because you get to have the equipment, but what's the point if you never use them? Start with what you can do, and if you can commit, then you can upgrade. Number 34. Meatless Meals Yes, the taste of meat is just too good to pass up. But if you can reduce the amount you eat per week, you can save tons of money. Meat is likely one of the biggest expenses in your grocery budget, so any reduction can make a difference. Building frugal habits like Warren Buffett's is easier said than done. Here are some books that can help you though. 1. Atomic Habits, James Clear 2. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki Number 3. The Richest Man in Babylon, George Samuel Classen. Number 4. What Happened to You? Oprah Winfrey Be sure to watch my next videos as constantly learning will help you become a frugal living expert and grow your wealth. Subscribe to the channel to always stay up to date and like the video to let us know if you've enjoyed it.